Blizzard announced February 24th, patch 6.1 will drop for Warlords of Draenor, which is a little over three months since it originally came out, November 13th of last year. I'll just hit on some of the big things that you probably already know about. New character models for Blood Elf, which is overdue. Twitter integration. I don't tweet, but those of you that do, be able to probably take pictures and everything and achievements, whatever, and put it on Twitter. New heirloom tab. That'd be nice. Just have a centralized place that you get you all your heirlooms. And I think you still buy them, and they should pop up in the tab, like the pets and mounts and all that stuff. Garrison's getting some new things. Um, Garrison music box, summon a raid a world boss to your garrison. Let's see, maybe some new quests. I think you can visit your friends um, garrisons and pick up different quests like dailies. Let's see, new garrison vendor, treasure hunter, that's a new follower trait. I think you'll be able to get new legendary follower if you're keeping up with your legendary quests. And hopefully just some overall garrison improvements. There's quite a bit here to go over everything. Let's see. Accounts with an inactive subscription now able to log in with the same restrictions that starter edition accounts have with the additional perk of being able to join guilds that characters on the account already are a member of. So that's interesting. Let's see. Itemization tertiary, tertiary stats for avoidance speed. Leech now provide about four times as much benefit per stat point. Let's see, only racial change for dwarf. Stone form when you use now triggers 30 second shared cooldown with other PvP trinkets that breaks crowd control effects. There's also quite a bit of talent changes or updates. And I will post this in the link because it there's quite a bit here to go look at heal of damage getting changed a little bit um, class changes a little bit Let's see what else wow there's quite a bit quest getting changed Let's see players in the right group will once again no longer be able to be eligible for quest credit except for a specially designed right quests Let's see flight path improvements Improve logic for connecting flight paths. The grand added two additional mailboxes in around the black market near Ring of Blood. Let's see, there's not not much I'm gonna go over because there's so much. Professions getting changed a little bit. Apex's crystals characters can now accrue accrue up to a maximum of sixty thousand, up for twenty thousand. So that's good. You get three times as much. If you're colorblind, there you got some new colorblind options to possibly help you. But yeah, overall there's quite a bit. I will post a link in the description linking to Wildpedia. And you can look over everything yourself with your classes and race changes, whatever might be coming up. And I will see you all next time.